Here I want to give you a few examples of how you can apply the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus Part 1. And this portion of the theorem actually talks to you about how you take derivatives with respect to x, generically, of an integral from a to x of f of t dt. And we've talked about the conditions on um, the integrand and, and other parts of this. So, so assuming that we already know when we can apply this, let's just look at an example. So what we see is that for um, this example, we want to find the derivative, let's say with respect to x, of the integral from minus 1 to x of e to the t squared dt. And so what this fundamental theorem of calculus part 1 tells us is that you know we're taking the derivative of this integral and so this will be equal to e to the x squared because we're taking the derivative of what we integrated which will get us back to the integrand and it's evaluated at x. So let's look at a different example. Suppose we wanted to find the derivative with respect to x of the integral from 0 to x squared of sine t cubed dt. Now that's a little bit different because our limit of integration is an x squared and not just an x. And so we're going to have to apply the chain rule. So we're going to get what we got before. We'll end up with the sine of x squared. And eventually we'll have to cube that. I'll simplify that in a minute. But then it also gets multiplied by this function up here, which is g of x. So by its derivative for the chain rule. So that'll be times 2x. So once simplified, this would be equal to I like to put that function in front so I'm not confused and think it's part of the argument of sine. So that's 2x sine, and x squared cubed is x to the 6th power. 